in this video. Let's try to draw a single line in Xcode. Let's create a new Xcode project. Single view app, next. Okay, so what about single line? Okay, next. Create Let's go to main dot storyboard. And switch to our favorite template iPad. Let's make it smaller. Okay, cool. Let's grab out a try to find a view here. This guy. And we can drag. And uh, drop here. Let's go to this icon to change the background color to something like orange. Okay. Let's make it bigger. So this is our canvas. So we can draw something on it. Now. Let's switch to our favorite simulator, a 9.7 inch iPad, and run it. We should be able to see the yellow view on our iPad simulator screen. So after that, we'll create a file to represent this view. Here we are. The yellow canvas view. Okay, let's stop it. And now let's go here. Right click. Create a new file. Select the Cocoa Touch class. And then next, so we'll use canvas view for the name. It's a view, it's a subclass of a UI view here. Then create. So, this is the place we'll write our line drawing code. So, let's uncomment this one. Drawing code, okay. Let's put our drawing code here. So we'll create a UI Bazier pass object. So let pass equal to UIB, UI Bazier pass, parentheses, enter. So how to draw a line? We need two points, right? So pass dot move to yeah enter point enter and type a single opening parenthesis. Now select the point. The third one is the best. Double click. So let's try from zero zero. Go to the next line. Pass dot. At the line two, enter, and press opening parentheses again, and wait for the auto complete. So we need the third one. So we'll draw from zero zero to, for example, one hundred, two hundred. 
We only need the last line of code to make it work. Pass dot stroke. Let's give it a try. Oh no, we still need to do one more thing. Because after we created this canvas view, we haven't used it anywhere in the program. So we needed to go to main storyboard again, select this one, select select this view and use the third icon here one two three this guy and check the class here drop down select this this is our own view canvas view now it means this area we use the view we created called canvas view so when we run it you will use the code we wrote here to render the view let's give it a try yes this is the line we draw in our xcode Pay attention to the coordinate system here. It's not like the coordinate system you learned in your math class. The origin is here, zero, zero. So this is 100 from here to here. And this from here to here is 200. So the line goes from 0, 0, the top left corner, that's the origin of the coordinate system on our iPad simulator. So we move point to here and add line to here, 100, 200. That's it. See you next time.